Today, we're diving into an exclusive hands-on preview of Samsung's One UI 7, giving us a sneak peek ahead of the official beta release. With December here, Samsung is gearing up to launch the One UI 7 beta program, and trust me, the updates look absolutely stunning. But before we begin, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. Join our membership for exclusive content designed just for elite members. The link is in the description below. Now let's explore what makes One UI 7 game changer. This time around, Samsung has really stepped up its game. From the lock screen to the animations, the new One UI 7 feels like a masterpiece in software design. Thanks to Ice Universe, we've got our clearest look yet at these updates. He shared a hands-on video saying, Welcome to join the One UI 7 beta test and you will start a new journey. Experience the One UI that has never been seen before. One of the standout features is the redesigned quick panel, which can now be accessed directly from the lock screen. It includes a reimagined media player with visually striking elements and refined UI components. At the bottom of the lock screen, you'll notice a live activity interface with smooth animations. Here's where it gets interesting. A small pill-shaped icon can expand into a widget card with just a tap, revealing toggles and other features. Tap it again and it transitions back to its original shape with fluid animations. It's a significant leap in user experience. Another highlight is the enhanced blur control. This adds a refined touch, improving visibility and creating a modern aesthetic. Lock screen shortcuts now feature a circular overlay with a subtle blur effect, giving the interface a polished, futuristic vibe. While iOS may still have an edge in certain design aspects, One UI 7 introduces some of Samsung's biggest software changes yet, setting new benchmarks for Android customization. The status bar also received an upgrade, including a sleek new battery icon and polished UI components. The lock screen clock design and layout now offer dynamic sizing, adapting seamlessly to the app or service in use. It's a small but impactful detail that adds to the overall refinement of One UI 7. Samsung Jeremy has officially confirmed the launch date for the One UI 7 beta program. Starting December 5, 2024, the beta will roll out for the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra. The announcement came with an official banner that says, Discover One UI 7 with Android 15. Be among the first to enjoy the new Galaxy experience. It's no surprise that Samsung's latest flagship Galaxy S series is leading the charge. Over time, we can expect the beta program to expand to other Galaxy devices. Initially, the beta will be available in Germany, but it's expected to reach other countries soon. Historically, regions like Korea, the US, India, the UK, Poland, and China are next in line. The exact timeline for these rollouts will vary, so keep an eye out for official announcements. If you're in one of the eligible regions, you might receive a notification inviting you to join the beta program shortly after its launch. For now, the beta focuses on the Galaxy S24 series, specifically the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra. But as Samsung continues to refine the software, it will likely bring these updates to a wide range of devices. Oh, we haven't seen the full feature set of One UI 7 just yet, what we've glimpsed so far indicates a major upgrade with impactful design changes and a better user experience overall. So what do you think of One UI 7? Are you excited about the upcoming beta program? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're looking for more exclusive content, don't forget to join our membership program. The link is right in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market, 
and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro Series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.